You're watching News 24 Live. I'm Jerusha Sophia Rath, and we're going to have a look at today's newspaper front pages, starting off with the front page of pa front page of Volksblatt. It's really a devastating story. Here we have family bloodbath shock as a family of five are torn apart. The mother, father, and one of their sons were killed at their wine estate home in Stellenbosch. Their 16-year-old daughter is in a critical condition in hospital, and their other son, 20-year-old, was injured in the attack. Again, on the front page of the Times, bloodbath leaves Winelands reeling. On the front page of Pretoria News, horrible story. This apparently happening in Pretoria, where a Tuane Metro police officer showed his gun to a child in a car, telling her that if she didn't settle down, he would shoot her. Underneath that, more news. Girl 16 fights for her life after her parents, one of her brothers, are killed in an axe attack. And on the front page of Die Burger, that same story of the attack. Now, it's not immediately clear who attacked the family or what their motive was. What we do know is that no security was breached at their estate. There wasn't a break-in into the home. And apparently, a domestic worker from the complex looked over and saw a man on the phone. Now, this is all according to reports. And apparently, he had blood on him. She then called the police. The police showed up at the wine estate, were escorted to the family home, by security officers at the estate where they found the three members of the family dead, the 16-year-old girl in a critical condition and the 20-year-old brother injured. On the front page of the Cape Times, three slain in Gulf Estate. On the front page of the Cape Argus, cold-blooded murder. And the same on the front page of Beals. Here a picture of that wine estate, a picture of the family off their Facebook page showing who has passed away, the young girl in a critical condition and the son who lived. On the front page of the Star, absolutely horrific story, burning hatred as a woman wants her husband to be sent to prison for life for killing her mom, putting her light. Underneath that, we have bleak prospects as more load shedding looms. And on the front page of the Citizen, foreigners fear more attacks as we know that looting in Soweto has reached a boiling point in the last week or so when it comes to nationals raiding the shops of foreign nationals. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News 24 Live.